Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be the best of three sets. In the event that games reach six all in any set, we will play the 12 point tiebreaker. Connors won the toss and has elected to receive. Board will serve first. Linesman ready, play. Connors in the near court. Board. Love 15. Connors won the toss and elected to receive. A little cool right now, Pat. The sun's in behind some cloud cover. Not too much breeze. Really pretty good playing conditions. A packed house at the Boca Racquet Club, 4,500 plus. These two haven't played since the championship of the U.S. Open at Forest Hills. What a match that was, and you saw it on CBS, too. an early observation Borg with all his top spin hits a lot of balls short and Connors likes to take that kind of ball early and attack and I think that's what we'll see sort of the pattern throughout this match Borg's going to have to get his ground strokes deep if he's going to stay out of trouble We've seen them play before, and we know that Borg hits with a lot of heavy topspin on both sides. He'll come to the net some, but sort of reluctantly. On the other hand, Connor's going to come in all he can, and you know he's going to have both feet off the ground most of the time when he's hitting those ground strokes. Just banging away. Not a very deep approach by Connors, and he paid the price. Game Borg. Oh, Bjorn Borg holds serve, and he leads one game to none in the first set of this Grand Slam Finals from Boca West, Florida. Staggering to think that they're playing for $100,000 and the loser gets $50,000. Oh. Oh. Borg won the first Ready, game. Love. Holding serve.
That just speaks for itself. Connors hit that two-hander cross court, put everything he had into it. You heard the crowd reaction. So Bork says, wait a minute, now I'm going to do a little something myself. That noise you hear when Connors serving is, is really a grunt. He's putting so much into every serve that you'll hear that gasping sound every time he swings at a serve. It was wide. 40, I'd like to welcome Tony while we have a chance. Uh, those of you who've been watching the San Antonio Portland basketball game, welcome to tennis. Uh, Boca West Racquet Club. They Joe seen and Borg won the first set. I'm sorry, uh, first game of the first set. Connor's now serving at love one. Hold serve and levels at one all. Pat, I was just going to say, if, if those viewers that just joined us had athletes perform as well as those that we've seen here, they really had a basketball game. They sure did. We saw just an hour or so ago the completion of a heck of a match between Adriano Panada and Manuel Arantes for third place. Arantes won it in three sets. And talking to Berglund, or Leonard Berglund, his Borg's coach, he said that they've been bringing Borg along slowly because you might recall last year he had a stomach pull in the lower part of the stomach, and they feel he's just now sort of getting back into reasonably good shape. They're obviously trying to be careful so he doesn't hurt himself again. That ball by Connors hit right on the baseline and just skidded. Really not much a player can do when it hits that line like that. shot by Connors paid off there. 15-30. When you're that deep in the court, you don't expect the player to go back up the line and get, be able to hit the ball that shallow. That ball hit about two feet inside of the service line, right by the sideline. 15-30. break point for Connors. It's the type of thing I think we're going to see, Pat. Rallies until Borg hits the ball short. Connors is going to try to jump on it and come in. What's wrong? 30, 40. Wide, so okay. Connors has broken the serve. He now leads two games to one in this first set. And I think a pattern has been set. They're looking for the Borg short is ball. Connors is going to attack. Ball. Vigorous ones right now. <coughs> Connors in the near court, Jordan Borg in the far court. Connors leads two games to one first set.
that's why. Uh, love to see. Might point out, Pat, that they have already turned the lights on. It's 4.15 down here at Boca West. But by mutual agreement, they've turned the lights on so that if this match goes into dusk, the, the lights will sort of blend in as easily as possible. Uh, Those of you who've been watching the Portland Trail Blazer, San Antonio basketball game, welcome to Boca West. I'm Pat Summerall with Tony Travert, and we're watching the finals of the Pepsi Grand Slam of Tennis. Bjorn Borg and Jimmy Connors playing for the $100,000 first prize. The loser gets 50. The loser gets 50. Did you catch that? Connors already already has a service break, too. This is the first set. He's serving at 2-1. We've commented before, Pat, but you'll never, never know by looking at Bjorn Borg what's going through his mind. He always has that same placid look, yet he did admit to us he was nervous in his last match, down those match points. Canada had him match point three times. That's long. 40, 30. Can you point that that way? <laughs> Connors was down a match point against Arante and served an ace. Game Connors. O'Connors holds serve. And he moves out to a 3-1 lead in the first set. This is the best of three sets. For those of you who did just join us, who've been watching basketball, the third place match was played earlier this afternoon. And Manuel Orantes won the $30,000 first uh, third place prize in three sets. He beat Adriano Panetta. It's interesting the way they did this, Pat. They seated Connors one and Borg two and then drew the other two names. That's how this, the opponents for the semifinals was decided. I think it's obvious that Connors plays tennis better than he does uh, soccer. Uh, pretty good head shot. Connors beat Arantes in three sets to right. advance to the finals. Herb Lewis, the linesman, has corrected his call, so they're going to play a let. Bjorn points over and says, let's play. Lucky to get out of that because he didn't make a good drop shot at all. He missed the volley. 
1530. Just to continue to bring you up to date, Borg beat Panada in three sets. Didn't go over. 30. This is a slow type surface. When the ball hits the court, it bounces up a little higher, a little more slowly. You're not going to see a lot of aces. Usually if you see an ace, the ball has hit the line and skids because they're tape lines. So Jimmy Connors still has a service break. He's leading 3-2 in this first set. Back to the tennis with Connors serving at 3-2 in the first set. 15 loves. right he stayed in the forehand corner 15 all connor's pumped that two-handed volley back into that corner and that placid young man was able to drive it up the line is going to start coming in on some of those short balls. He had two or three opportunities there and didn't come in. Ended up missing a one-hander from way behind the baseline. It's like he started in a couple of times and changed his mind. Started in again. 15, 40. Double break point for Borg. Connors has a service break. Twice that Borg has mishit balls off of Connor's serve in that same situation. He brushes up the back of the ball. Doesn't really drive through the ball as, as a lot of players do. So he mishits a lot of times, but somehow most of them stay in the court. and he's leveled at three all. Thank you. 
I think there's really more pressure on board because Connors knows that, that Bjorn isn't going to come into the net very often, so if he gets in trouble, he can just try to float it back. Bjorn knows that Jimmy will come in every chance he gets. Connors seems, Tony, to almost hit down on every ball. Well, he tries to take it early, get it above the, the height of the net, and drive down on it. He's missed a few of those one-handers so far. 40, 50. Double fault on board. That's the first one of this match. Games are three all on this grand slam of tennis. Borg didn't serve any double faults in his match against Panada, and he did serve two aces. That's how he won the match. The last point was an ace. Short approach. Yes. He got away with it really because the ball stayed down. Bjorn didn't get the swing that he rightfully would have gotten normally on that kind of approach <laughs> shot. See the mark just an inch or so past the baseline. And Borg is one point away from moving out to a 4-3 lead in the first set. This is the best two out of three. The champion gets $100,000. Lots of pace on that two-hander at a time, that last shot. by winning the U.S. Open last year. Borg got here by winning at Wimbledon and then the WCT Championship. Out. 
That's why. Okay, Borg. Borg had held, has held his serve, so he has now taken a 4-3 lead in the first set, this best of three set match. World Pro Championship, all coming next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time here on CBS. Speaking of championships, this one's not too bad either. Connors in the near court, Borg in the far court. Borg now on the right. This is action in the first set. Connor serving at 3-4. Best two out of three sets. Fifteen all. Pat, you know, normally when, when players hit a lot of top spin, they prefer to go cross court with the ball. And we commented when we did the match with Borg and Panada how Borg passes up the line so much more than he does cross court. That's just long. 30, 15. In this world, Margie Wallace looking on. Close friend of Connors. She looks a little nervous. Good play on this type of surface. It's a little bit slippery. Sort of granules on the top of this composition court. It's hard to stop without skidding and go back into the corner you've come from. Connors took advantage of that. 40 15. <coughs> has held serve and he's leveled it for all first set. Eggs are for all. That young lady is Mariana Simonescu, the fiance of Bjorn Borg. And Butch. the gentleman on the left is Bud Stanner, who is Borg's manager. Love. Pat, we're going to be covering CBS about 27 and a half hours of tennis at the U.S. Open this September. And I uh, was certainly looking forward to that. More coverage than ever. Up. 30, love. I was sorry to hear that our the president of our U.S. Tennis Association, Mr. Stan Moles, is at home in Indianapolis in traction for a back problem. We certainly want to say hi and wish him well. I know he's happy with that extended coverage at Forest Hills, which will be next year, or this year, later, while you're on CBS. That's a great two weeks. That's 
fly. What? 30, 50. Jimmy's unhappy with someone in the crowd. I think that calling his other ball out. Please don't call the score while the ball is in play. It's very confusing for the players. Thank you. Margie Wallace again looking on. She knows the score, I bet you. played Panada on a few occasions. Panada took the Borg second serve and hit it and came in and had some success as Connors did there. So Borg quit hitting his first serve hard. He started to spin it in. Dang, so Bjorn Borg has held serve. He has taken a... We'll be back with more of the Pepsi Grand Slam of tennis Borg after this word from your local station. Borg leads 5-4. <laughs> Just out. If we get the six games all, they'll play the 12 point tiebreaker. The first player to, we, to win seven points with at least a two game, two point edge will win. Little confusion now about the tennis balls, Pat, I, as to whether they're new or not. They have a little refrigerator over on the side where they keep the balls. What's the purpose of that, Tony? Try to keep the balls at a certain temperature so that they don't get too hard, too much air pressure. If it's hot, Pat, and they'd be much faster, faster playing conditions. I don't think they really need them in a refrigerator today because it's not that warm. It's better than it has been, however. Not nearly as much wind as there was particularly on Friday when Connors played his match against Dorantes. I was up visiting my brother just south of Tampa and we had snow up there a few days ago. But not too bad today. Okay, back to the tennis. <laughs> As he always does, Connors in almost constant conversation with somebody in the crowd. That server's a left. As Nastasi pointed out a moment ago, 15, errors have played a big part in this match thus far. Connors has made a basket full on his one-handed shot. Take a look again, and you see the topspin lob. Connors does a marvelous job, just barely gets his racket on it. Now Borg has to hustle and rolls 15, it up the line. 40. And it's now back to action, and it's double break point, double set point at 1540. Yeah, 
And so Bjorn Borg, the number two ranked player in the world, wins, wins the first, the first game, set. Six games to four. Six games to four. The voice of Flo Blanchard you just heard, who is the umpire. Borg to serve now in the first game of set number two. It's the best two out of three for $100,000. There was a perfect example of one of the advantages of a two-handed shot. We'll take a look again, and you'll see that the Borg is actually late because of the power put on the approach shot, but he can flick it with the upper hand and get the ball back cross court. Back to live action. First serve was a fault. Of these rallies now Borg has been real smart he's been hitting the ball straight up the center of the court to Connors so that he doesn't have much of an angle so even if he hits the ball hard it can't be running away from Bjorn as much he can track it down oh. Oh. that's out oh. 49 First time they've met since the finals at Forest Hills. Which, of course, Connors won for the championship. In an interview we did with Connors at the end of the show yesterday, he said something that surprised me. He said he didn't want to know what the score was. Let me think about that. I'd like to know if I'm down match point or up match point. You'd think so, wouldn't you? That's long and also wide. Thirty first game, second set. Borg has won the first set, six four. That's out. So Bjorn game Borg four. has held his serve thanks to some errors by Jimmy Connors. So Borg has won the first set, six four. He leads one love in the second set. He wins the first game, second. Jimmy Connor serving in the near court to Bjorn Borg. Borg won the first set 6-4. He leaves this one one low. Take a look at part of that again. Borg didn't quite get that forehand down the line enough. Now Connors jumps on the volley. 15 loves. And he wins the point. A beauty. Back to live action. 15 love. At this point, Pat, neither player really seems to be quite as sharp as they were in their semifinal matches. Maybe it's the quality of the opponent. Well, that always has something to do with it. You look as good as your opponent lets you look. 
Here's part of that last 40, point again. 15. See, Connors had several opportunities to come to the net. He finally takes this one. The ball hits the top of the net. Volley there that's short. Borg misses. And now we're back to live action. So Connors, ben, Connors. struggles a little bit, but holds serve. That's our one -on. When he gets in trouble, he being Connors, he sometimes starts hitting that ball harder. He talks to himself more. He yells at the crowd more. Slide. Oh, uh, 15 loves. Connors forehand has really been letting him down in this match thus far. He has made many, many errors when he wasn't being forced at all. He made an interesting comment yesterday. We were talking to him about winning. He said he didn't like to win so much as he just hated to lose so much. He hated to see the expression on the other guy's face after he'd lost. That's wide. Fifteen You're looking at the best tennis there is between the top two players in the world. They're veterans at 20 and at 24. Well. Just hard to believe when you see the, the composure of Bjorn Borg is only 20. watch board play sometimes you think maybe the guy's not even human but he's really a heck of a guy nice oh, guy very much so likes is, is his own private life. When he's not mm -hmm. on the tennis court, he's a very quiet person. Second set of this championship leads two games to one. He won the first set 6-4. You know, Pat, you talk about depth in tennis. There are more good players playing tennis now than ever before. Got to be the same way on the golf tour. Oh, it is. What's your handicap? Bad nine. <laughs> one-handed winner by Connors. 
Resting on depth in golf. How about what's happened so far on the tour this year? The two winners have been Jerry Pate and Bruce Litsky. The new young lions they talk about. Litsky, Litsky did the easy way. He knocked in a 65-footer in the fourth playoff hole. did this well because he got far enough behind that smash that when he made it and Borg got to it, he was coming back into the net. In other words, he had set up well behind the ball when it bounced so he could hit it moving forward and got back into the volleying position. Just know. over the baseline. Game cars. He levels it to all. I don't know if there's an ideal size for a tennis player, Trey, but these two are just about the same size. Both of them about 5'11 and 155, 160 pounds. Pat, the best tennis build I've ever seen personally was Pancho Gonzalez. About 6'2, 6'2 and a half, 180. Could move like a cat. Oh, oh. Good thing about tennis as a sport is that you can be a smaller person physically and still play tremendous tennis. One of many good things about the sport. And you think of these two fellas and uh, Rosewall, a laver. I don't think they'd last long in your sport. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're talking about football. I haven't found my sport, really. I am speaking of football. <laughs> Way out. 30 miles. Borg's patience is paying off at this stage. certainly is an attribute, particularly on a surface like this. Out. 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 40, Borg has held serve once again. 
thanks to some errors on the part of Jimmy Connors. He leads 3-2 in the second set. February the 19th on CBS. Great tennis today on CBS 2. <coughs> We're looking forward to that one. Hey, did you see what I just saw? Borg flipped his racket up and grabbed it with his left hand, sort of showed some emotion. Hmm. He made an error, that's why he's not used to that. First he won the first set six games to four. Connors is serving the near court at two three in the second set. It's the best two out of three. I think he's watching the ball very well. I, I haven't seen him make this many errors off of easy balls in a long, long time, and I've got to think that he's just taking his eye off the ball a little bit, perhaps trying to overplay the shot. It's not that he hasn't played. Should no. be rusty. One last week at Birmingham, in fact. Okay, Connors. Game to three all now in the second set. I didn't mean that to be an excuse by any means. It's just an observation. Mm -hmm. And certainly not an effort to take anything away from Bjorn Borg's play. They say that Connors has unusually good eyesight. As well as his other obvious physical qualities. Watch the depth now that Connors gets as he comes in. The ball's short. It's inside the service line. He gets a good depth. Now he has a high, pretty easy ball to volley. Back live, low 15. Three all second set. Best of three set finals. Borg won the first set. Just over the baseline. Let's take part of that point again. Not a real deep volley. Also not a deep ball. Connors started to go back and he seemed just barely hit over the baseline. In the middle of that point, Pat, that baseline has been put his arm out signaling out but didn't say anything and I think he changed his mind. 15, 30. Good serve by Borg. 
know I mentioned to you earlier that a lot of Europeans, when they're starting, have trouble with a good service motion because their sports are different than ours. They don't play much football or baseball, so they're not accustomed to throwing. See, I don't understand why Jimmy didn't go in behind that ball that he hit very deep and try to make the volley. Instead, he waited in no man's land and ended up missing the next shot. Oh, huh? 40, 30... lead in the second set and he has won the first set 6-4. serve after a bit of a struggle he's won the first set 6-4 he now leads four games to three in the second set Borg won the first set 6-4 Connor serving in the second set at 3-4 You know what the, what the fans want, Pat. They want this to go three Lots sets. They want to see more good tennis. Well, they've seen some good tennis so far in this championship. Oh. There's only four players here. The other two, other than the two that you're looking at, were Adriano Panada of Italy and Manuel Arantes of Spain. Oh. Stretched out wide with no place to go. You're going to see how Borg is stretched Lovely. out on a two-hander. Really no place to go, and he pops that ball down the line. Connors couldn't get to it. Now we're back to live action. Love 30. It's nervous time for Connors.
Let's take a look at that one again. An absolute sitter overhead. Let's see if he pulls his head down. He really didn't. He just started his swing a little too soon. And it's now double break point for Borg. That would mean if all Borg would have to do is hold his serve to win this match. If he can break serve here. Good strong serve by Connors. That overhead he just missed is one he'll be thinking about for a while. He'd be dreaming about that one if he loses this set. First overhead Connors is really nailed on in the middle of the racket. Pretty good time to do it. It's back to deuce. Oh. Another break point for Borg. Watch this forehand now. Flip it right up the line. Back to Borg now live. Break point. No, Pat, I'm not so sure that yes. Borg is not trying to take advantage of this, what's left of daylight. It's starting to get a little bit on the dusk side. The lights have been on. So perhaps he feels it's a little more difficult to see that ball. So he's throwing the ball up on the, making more lobs, make Connors hit the overheads. nervous hmm. he'd never let you know
after quite a struggle. Jimmy Connors is leveled at four all, and he's getting the people on his side for a change. You talk about Roberto Duran. How about the funds with those guys? Board serve. Connors are still walking around. Yeah, he's the, he's the board won the first set, 6 4. It's 4 all in the second set. Board to serve. What a game that was. Mm -hmm. Chris Bolly that time. Let's take a look at that. Lots of steam. Watch this now. It just pops that ball. Just a short karate chop. Plenty of pace for a winner. Back to live action. Love 15. Up. 15 all. You know, Trey, that last game had every element. That last point even had board coming to the net for the only time in the match. That's right. He does that a lot of times when he's under pressure, almost as a surprise element. Connors put up a lob. Or get the overhead, and Connors got it back. Now, Borg has been going up the line with that two-hander on passing shots. 30, 15. That time he went cross court with much success. That's what makes a guy like Borg so tough. He hits it both ways. You're never really sure. played three times last year, 1976. Connors won all three times. And as we've said before, this is the first time that they've played since the U.S. Open Championships at Forest Hills. He only won once of the three times, Pat, on this type of surface. The other two were faster type surfaces. Of course, both players can play on any kind of surface. has to feel very fortunate. He's stretched out wide. Hits a reasonably good lob, 40, but not that tough. 30. Connors is right on the service line. And again, this time that he's starting his swing too soon. Back to the action. Borg about to serve 40-30. Four all in the second set. And Borg won the first set 6-4. And this is just the best of three sets. Just about sunrise at Boca West. A uh, sunset, I'm sorry. Dan Borg. So Bjorn Borg has held serve. You can see Jimmy Connors is not very pleased with his play. Borg leads 5-4 in the second set. Has to hold serve here or this match is all over. Lots of steam. Oh. 
Out. 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 Fifteen all. and it's now double match point for Borg. Fifteen forty. Jimmy Connors was backing away, expecting the lob, and if Borg shot 40. had landed inside the line, there's no way he could have gotten there. It is still match point. One of the few times Connors served and went in behind it that time, and he got away with it. Connors comes in, makes a low volley, hits a top net, bounces over, Borg yes. gets to it easily. He can hit it any place he wants, and he hits it halfway down the bottom of the net. And it's back to live action, induced two match points saved by Connors. Yeah, the player is still waiting for the crowd to settle down after that. Borg had a chance to put it away. Again, it's match point for Borg. This is the third that match point Borg. Borg has had. <laughs> what a time yes. for that one. Just as he did against Orantes in the semifinals when he was down match point. Connors hit an ace right up in the same spot. 
That's the first ace of the match for Connors. It's back to deuce. thinking about that two-hander he missed. Wow. Him, No doubt right now, thinking about that two-hander, he had the match about Game two inches shot, higher. Five oh. Well, you know, if he had that same shot 50 times, he'd make it 49. And there's a, a much happier Connors who is leveled at five all. Again, we want to remind you that if we get the six all, he'll play a 12-point tiebreaker. First to reach seven points with at least a two-point advantage will be the winner. It's a best two out of three sets. Borg won the first set, 6-4. Bjorn waiting now for the crowd to quiet just a bit. Showing him new balls. Pat, you imagine conceivably that error could cost Borg $50,000. I was just thinking about that. The winner gets 100000 The runner-up gets fifty. Smart play by Borg. All set up because Connor's approach was too short. Now let's watch it. Here comes a short approach just past the service line. That means he struggles for the first volley, has to try to recover. Or it goes in behind him. We're back live at 15 all. Watch this again now. Connors makes a drop volley. Borg gets there. Connors is lucky to get there. No way he can recover. Borg just has to flick it cross court and get it over the net. And again, there was a one hander. He hits it into the net. We're back live in his 30 all. Five all in the second set. Borg won the first set 6 4. The tension is mounting. Oh. I'll say the tension is mounting. 30 40. Second double fault by Borg. Great point for Connors now. Game, Connors! Whoa! 
we'll be back with more of the Grand Slam of tennis from the Boca West Racquet Club after this word from your local station. <coughs> yeah. There is ace number two by Connors. Love. Was close, but out. You know, one thing I admire about Borg, you saw him just there. He didn't question the call. He didn't worry about the mark. He knew it was out. No big show. Yeah. And it's triple set point for Connors. 40 love. You're looking at Houdini. <laughs> He's got it! Dang. We'll take a look at that last point again. Borg hits the ball short. Here's a drop shot. Borg gets to it comfortably, seven, goes down seven, the line. Seven, Connors seven, saws seven, off a little cross-court volley. Seven, one, oh, that young man is saying that little two-hander that I had with Connors at the net, all I had to do was hit it any place past him, and I'm, I'm home free. Now we go to set three, the final set, Borg to serve. That's out. Huh? Fifteen loves. <laughs> oh. Uh, 30, love. Mariana Simonescu, Borg's fiance. Fine tennis player in her own right, so she knows she knows a lot more about this game than just a casual spectator. She must know what he's going through, too. Uh, 40, love. Three very quick errors by Connors. Perhaps a bit of a letdown on his part, having gotten away. And there's Margie Wallace. Oh. That's out. Game board. So Bjorn Borg quite handily has held serve in the first game of the third set. I still got to believe he's thinking about that one two-hander. Don't count him out. He thinks now that Connors has escaped those match points. He's going to win the match. We'll see. What do you think? I think he will also. That's wide. Huh? 30, love. Pat, I think it's got to be a little bit difficult to see the ball right now. It's sort of dusk. It's sort of like driving when it's dusk. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the lights have been on since about 4.15, but I think that 
that really it's going to be a little tough for a while for the players to pick the ball as well. It might be difficult to smash at this time also. That's not to say that these are not good lights. Oh, no. <coughs> Just that time of day. Good deep shot by Borg. I think it might have actually hit the baseline. When you impart as much topspin on the ball as Borg does, it really is difficult to get the ball deep. If you can get it deep with all that spin, and then it's very, very tough for your opponent to handle because it jumps up at you very quickly. To some errors by Bjorn Borg. Connors has held serve comfortably. And, and there you see the story. This is the Grand Slam of tennis. And these are the two survivors. You think back, we could just as well have Orantes and Panata mm -hmm. out here now. And these fellows would have played for third place earlier today. Borg survived three match points oh. against Panata. Uh, and Connors one match point against Orantes. Right. Connors has saved three match points so far in this match. interesting, Pat, in the first, in the three games now, this third set, both players have made a lot of errors they weren't making necessarily at, a cut at the end of the second set. Maybe they relaxed a little bit after that emotion packed end of set number two. Connor puts away a winner. Good time to do it, I guess. Is there a bad time? No. <laughs> Take a chance when you're down, I guess. Sure. That's out, so Bjorn Borg, with some very good serving, has taken a 2-1 lead in this third and final set. Here, of course, on the right of your picture to Borg at the other end, on the left. Games are 2-1, or 1-2. And the third and final set. part of this Best point now, and Connors comes in, watch him slide to cover the ball down the line. He anticipated perfectly and just blocked the ball into the open court. Now we're back live, 15 love. scouting and making a report on Borg, I would have my players cover down the line on the passing shots because he certainly goes down the line the majority of the time off both sides, forehand and the two-handed backhand. <laughs> Uh, 
that light. 1530. Could be very difficult to smash at this time. It was not a really a good lob by Borg. Break point for Borg. 40. I don't think we talk enough, Pat, about how fast Borg is, how well he covers the court. And the other thing is not only getting the ball, but being able to make shots once you arrive. Mm. You know, when you're late, he's still get, able to get the ball cross court when he wants to once in a while, rip it down the line, good racket preparation. Still break point. Summerall with Tony Trabert at the Grand Slam of Tennis. Boca West Racket Club. Advantage Borg. Again, break point for Borg. You gotta wonder how many escapes Connors can pull off. Behind a serve. It's obviously the ideal play. You know, if you can get the good serve in, close in, and take the high return and angle it away. Our prescribed time is over, but we're going to stay with this till the conclusion. Wouldn't dare leave. Now, Matt, this has been... Whoops, little ball boy stepped <laughs> in the foul. Connor says, safe. Puts the hands out and gives him the safe sign. Borg trying to maintain his concentration. Break point for Borg. This is the fourth break point Borg has had in this game. At one point, it was and serve, and he now leads three games to one in the final set. Borg leads three games to one. Borg and Connors. Borg just 20 years old, Connors 24. You know, Pat, I've played in a lot of countries all over the world, and i got to tell you, this is about the only country where you'll hear people pulling for the other guy.
loves the Steve. I'm surprised he didn't let that one bounce, frankly, because he has been having trouble with his overhead. Once you let it bounce, it's coming down more slowly, and you can sort of get set up better. Could be that he's able to see a little bit better now as it's getting darker. Oh, perfect. Love I guess you really would describe Connors as sort of a riverboat gambler. He'd make a, a marvelous race car driver. He'd never be scared. Mm -mm. Love 40. Just like that, it's triple break point for Connors. He obviously needs it. He's down a break. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh, and a drop volley by Connors for a winner. Helps him break serve. What a game. Borg Borg came in Connors. again. Connors comes right back to Game break Borg. But this one's pretty good, too. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> That's out. 15, love. That score, now Borg has broken a string in his racket, I think, and he's going to, to change. Just might remind you that score at Forest Hills last year at Connors won 6-4, 3-6, Seven six six four, and in the tiebreak in the third set, it was thirteen eleven. That's how close it was. Marvelous tennis. And this is the first time they've played since then. Borg and Connors, and Borg playing now with a new racket. Is that going to bother him, Trip? It shouldn't. He has a bunch of them. He should have them same weights and balance, the same grip size and shape, and strung the same way. That's why they bring them out. Oh. Maybe this one's strung at 79 instead of 80. A double fall, and that's the first one for Connors. 15 all. On several occasions, Connors has given sort of a floater, trying to get the ball high up on the two-handed side of Borg. On all but two occasions, Borg has run around to hit the forehand because he can handle the high ball better. That time, Connors got the short ball, but then missed the approach. Oh. Oh. Linesman's going to come out and check. Now, this is a bad break for Connors. It's good, and he's going to have to replay it because Borg would be affected by the call, although he really didn't have any chance to make the return. Okay, Jimmy's asked me he's okay because Borg was looking at his ankle. He had a really stretch. Double break point for Borg. We have just had back-to-back -back service breaks. It's 15-40, in the final set. He 
he's got it this time. What a point. Let's take a look at part of that again. Connors stretched out for the first ball and tipped the top of the net. He's lucky to get back to reach this one. He cannot recover in time, and this time Borg game did not Borg. make an error. He leads four games to two. So Bjorn Borg has broken serve once again and leads 4-2 in the final set. Pat, thinking of that easy ball that Borg missed, you, you know, you might say, well, how can a guy miss a ball like that? Remember the story of Nicholas missing an 18-inch putt? And the spectator said, how can you miss a putt like that? He said, just like you can. Mm -hmm. is one point away from moving out to a 5-2 lead. Good volley. 40-15. See the good volleys made, Pat. They come in with a racket out in front so they can really watch that ball and make a short chopping stroke at the ball. Still get pace on it. Good luck. Over the two handed side. Bjorn Borg has held serve. He leads five games to two in his third and final set. Connors has his work cut out for him. Borg won the first set 6-4. Connors the second 7-5. And Connors is down 2-5. Or Borg is up 5-2 in this one. Connors is the winner. Again, Pat, a 5-2 lead. It sounds bigger than it is because it's really one service break. say the crowd is about 50-50, mm -hmm. wouldn't you, Pat? It seems interesting. so. Interesting, and maybe the most vocal crowd I've heard since uh, Forest Hills. And they were vocal. <coughs> it's been a sellout every day.
Let's take a look at that again. You'll see a little bad luck uh, for Connors. That ball right there hit the top of the net, so he was not able to make the good volley. Set up sort of an easy shot, and Borg made a fine shot down the line. We're back live, and it's 30-all. So right now, Bjorn Borg is two points away from winning this Grand Slam final and $100,000. Hmm. <laughs> Pat, you notice a good player when he has that volley into the open court. He does not overplay it. He just bunts it carefully. No sense being a hero when you have that sitter. Oh. Dan Connors. Well, Connors holds serve, and now Borg will be serving for the match. Borg leads five games to three. I guess you could say we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. I guess you could. <laughs> We've been there before, though. Unless you can think of something better to say. I know what you mean, though. All right, here we go. 5-3 in the final set. Uh -huh. Just out over the baseline. 15 low. The winner, fifteen all. Oh. No, I missed it. That's it out. was out. We can see the mark. We're looking right down that line. 30, 15. It's probably one inch wide of the sideline, about four feet up the sideline. Once again, board two points away. 30, 15. That's out. 40, 15. And it's double match point for Bjorn Borg. He hit that ball... 75 feet straight up in the air after it went out. 